All right, so here's the 800s game. It's between the Red Eye Jedi, who I am not familiar with. Red Eye Jedi is 725, but at the time he was in the low 800s, I think. Um, about 30 games played. And then we have Dus Yong Mao, who is 34 and 34 um, in the mid 800s, which is nice. Getting out of the uh, 700 to 800 range is pretty rough. And um, small comment, I wonder if it's supposed to be Dash Yong Mao, because that's like Chinese for panda, like great panda. But it's Dash Yong Mao, so I don't know what that means. Maybe it's like a bear cat? I don't know, like a panda? Okay, anyways. Um, oops, I moved my display. Okay, so we have Jake versus Kendall in Fog. I think that, I, well, so I actually have not played this map before. Um, I've been out of Fog for about a year, just been working on perfect information games um, instead of like guesswork and stuff because I felt like I was getting lucky. Anyways, enough about me. Um, so let's get to the game. Looks like there's a lot of transport stuff pre-deployed, so that's kind of interesting. Okay, so does Xiong Mao opts to load his APC instead of capturing that city right away. Um, it's going to be like a, a small, like, short-term cash hit. Okay, and then looks like these cities are connected by river to this base. Um, but you can't really get there easily from here, so. Okay, this capture phase looks fine. At first glance, at least. Okay, that's a little bit confusing. Um, loading the inventory back up in the lander. I think some of this could be optimized a bit. Oh, okay, so this base belongs to the lander dropper. Um, unless you want to go really crazy and go for an APC here, or drop your APC here to get that. Yeah, that could be an interesting idea. You could just like all in to like, steal this base. I'm not sure if that's something that works. Because it's something where like, you need to dedicate a lander to get it there. So if both players go for landers and you get there first and you start capturing, then you get this base first and then you already have your lander ready to drop on this base. Um, so I don't know, just an idea. I don't know if anyone's tried that yet. Okay, skips this capture in order to get out here. It's like a reasonable thing to do. Okay, so artillery recon. Breaking down this pipe scene is pretty nice because you can reinforce the center quite a bit faster. How much faster? You you like let's say getting to the HQ, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares to the HQ versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it's four squares faster to uh, break down this pipe scene. Um, and then I wonder actually, oh, this is Jake is red. Okay. I was going to wonder if, uh, Kendall might try to sit on this city and then break it down that way. It might two hit KO instead of three hit KO. But then you have to wonder, like, is all the time wasted? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. 
you're like wasting an extra turn of movement in order to break it down one turn faster, so might not be worth it. Okay, so Red Eye Jedi has not gone for this base yet. Which is kind of dangerous. You better hurry up and do that before Doshio Mao captures it himself. So Doshio, once Doshio Mao sees uh, an empty base, uh oh, he's just gonna pounce and take it. Yeah, I think I see where this is going. Uh-oh, gotta capture the base. Well, let's see if he notices, let's see if uh, Red Eye Jet, if Dash Young Mao notices that this, in, that this artillery is in this forest. If Blue doesn't notice that it's in the forest, then Red has a good shot of taking this base. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, 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 okay. So now, Red Eye Jedi can artillery hit, tank hit, tank on top, and then just kind of like do general damage with the rest of his infantry. Oh, okay, you recon on top. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> I was worried for a second. Okay, no infantry in capping range next turn, which is a little bit scary. But um, what red doesn't see is blue doesn't have any reinforcements coming this way. All this artillery is going to come in time to pick off any capturing infantry on this base. Okay, so it looks like Red Eye Jedi is gonna take this base, so it's actually like trading bases here. And he could have had this base too if Red Eye Jedi had just gone and captured it for free. Okay, so I think. Red is going to be fine here, but there are there is an infantry interrupt. The thing I like most about this match is both players used refresh list, so I don't have to skip turns. Okay, so yeah. Um, Let's take, let's take a look at the metrics after this turn. All right, so blue is ahead in unit count by a small amount. Um, blue is also ahead in army value in, by a small amount. Um, and they're even on bases. Blue is ahead in income. Like, this is a really nice army blob here, but oh my gosh, blue is spamming rockets wow rocket spam i have not seen that in a very long time if ever um yeah so that should just lose to tanks we'll see how many tanks red decides to build
Okay, slightly sketchy formation here. Like this rocket doesn't hit anything. Although actually, oh, I see. That's okay. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, so four rockets out of 32 vehicles is pretty crazy. So again, kind of a sketchy formation here. The, the artillery isn't really covering anything. Um, and the rocket is kind of covering this gap, but it's not... The rocket doesn't have any good targets right now, so Red Eye Jedi has to be careful not to lose too much. I guess the tank's in the forest, so it's, it's not so bad. Okay, Red builds a battleship though. Okay. So the battleship, the problem with the battleship is it's not going to have very much vision. Um, and yeah, this coral, like, for the reef, it's it's adjacent to a land tile, so it's easy to spot it. If this was a sea tile, then this would be an excellent spot for a battleship. But it can be seen and then hit by rockets, which is pretty not great. So yeah, getting vision for this battleship is going to be a struggle. And Red Red Eye Jedi still doesn't have like a good grasp of how many rockets are over here. He just keeps sending infantry to try to capture this, and they keep dying. But I don't think he's figured out that there's a bunch of rockets on cities that are trying to ruin his day. So, Doshyong Mao High Societies, which is pretty good attacking Super CO power. Um, unfortunately, for blue, red is going to get a pretty nice counterattack with all this vision red has of these tanks. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. What did this tank hit? Okay, the tank just blocks on us. Oh, he, okay, so, oh, I see, so red does not super CO power. Gotcha, okay. I was going to say, that was a very underwhelming Super CO power turn. Um, okay, leaving the rocket open like that is kind of scary, because, yeah, there's nothing blocking it, and all that Doshyong Mao needs to do is go in a little bit, and I'll see the rocket with the tanks and just crash in. Okay, and there's the rocket shot. Uh-oh. Yeah, now everything's crumbling. Okay, so now, yeah. I think that red just loses no matter who you are. Just not enough stuff. Okay, here comes block rock. Hits a rocket, but the rocket doesn't really matter. Party gets trapped, gonna get hit by a rocket, no tanks left over, yeah, it's just not, not good, so yeah, red I think just, oh, an urban blight just to make things worse.
Oh, I see. So there's actually a battleship here. And another battleship there. But yeah, these battleships don't solve the problem of red getting run over in the center north. Type null is not an object evaluating eel.style. Just ignore that. So I think that Jake just went a little bit hard in the artilleries. If he had done more tanks, then uh, I think he would have been in better shape. Another Urban Blight. Rocket hits Battleship with big city boost. That's really bad. Yeah. Well, and now the HQ is under pressure as if things weren't bad enough. And they're gonna lose, and Red Jedi is gonna lose a base, and an HQ is getting capped. Okay, and he just lets the HQ get capped, which is not what you want. Eliminated by capture. Gotcha. Alright, cool. So yeah, that's the 800s match.